Hello and welcome to Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. And that was donated by Charles Spitznoogle. Me, Big Milk Billy Bass. Hey, and that's a sidekick, Ryan McElwain. Dude, that thing is really freaking me out. Okay, let's just microwave this thing. Oh, wow, we're gonna stick you in the microwave. All hands to the deck! Nobody oh. likes roasted nuts. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ventilation is key. What are you doing? Put that out! Does that still work? You're dumb. The masks, they do nothing. Nothing, stop it. Can I get the fire extinguisher? No. Two point five. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is our number one concern. I think this is the fish's eye. You pulled his eyeball out. What a great fisherman you are. We hide behind this giant tinfoil shield to protect our nuts because nobody likes roasted nuts. You also wrap a fish in tinfoil so it doesn't burn. Interesting? I think so. Let's go into the laboratory. Laboratory! We also have this fan to circulate the air and our new microwave. The Samsung. Have we ever had one of those? No. Nope. No. That's why her name is Samantha. Uh, can you see what I did there? Yes. I did. Okay. So, in goes the fish. Look, it even has a plus minute button. Well, that's always oh, convenient. That fits in there perfectly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have any other microwave right now. I wouldn't oh. trade this for any microwave, any. bigger or anything. Okay, so uh, I wonder how long I should put this in there for. Oh, isn't that convenient? It has a fish setting. Okay, let's do this. Let's get out of here. I think as soon as I hit that, it's going to go. Okay, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. Oh, I guess not. Oh, <laughs> Run! That tray is fast. Oh, yeah, oh, this one's lighting up. To be come, on, come, on, come on, come on. Oh, oh smoke oh. it. Smoke it. Fish is going to come back around. It'll be on fire. Wow! Oh, 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 its gears are broken. The speaker's going. Oh, wait. You let it cook in its own juices. It, oh, what the hell was that? Probably the battery. There's no batteries in there. Oh, dear. God. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, should this is fish in the display. <laughs> <laughs> the first time it's ever just been like, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> you are currently microwaving fish. Nope. Oh, there was another pun. Nope. I'm a dying microwaved fish. I'm singing oh, your song. Enough. The fish is on fire. Oh, big ah. has a fire. Oh, that fish is filleted. Hey, it comes up. Oh, 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 oh just, you all. Well, you skinned him. You had a, yeah, I mean, you had to prepare him for dinner. Skinned him alive. Well, yeah, you can just, now you can just kind of peel off the scales. My finger just went through this thing. That's kind of annoying right there. Yeah. That is not healthy right there. They say don't eat <coughs> fish if you're pregnant uh, because it has a lot of mercury in it. I can tell you uh, it also has some other stuff in it, uh, like a motor. Um, Lots of plastic, and no one really enjoys plastic. So is it a good idea to microwave a big mouth billy bass? How about you guys just keep it at your uh, lake trout, your uh, salmon, your tuna? That's about it for is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Jory Karen. What part of the fish do you like best? I like the meat. The knee? Yeah. Oh, a toony fish. Ha!